I haven't had a beer before that had a suggested Spotify playlist for drinking it. But of all the breweries I've drunk from before, I suppose Double Mountain is the one I'd expect most likely to do something like that. Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. Mm. Nice day today. I got the windows open again. It's 70 degrees outside, like above 70. Um, Double Mountain. Double Mountain. I have had two, at least two Double Mountain beers before. Um, one of them was their IRA, their India Red Ale. In uh, fresh hop season this year, yay, I found this Double Mountain Killer Red Fresh Hop IPA at Spuds and Tumwater. And it says, fresh from the hop fields of the Willamette Valley, so these are Oregon hops, uh, Double Mountain being out of Hood River, that makes sense. We're, we bring you Killer Red, sticky grapefruit and tangerine aromas lived, lead, lead through a dank forest of ponderosa pines. Just pouring it, the tangerine came up from that quite, quite uh, impressively. At first I thought there was some uh, uh, tangerine flavored um, or citrus flavored um, like uh, clothes washing soap or something, but we don't use scented soaps with our stuff, so it took me a moment to recognize it was from the beer, uh, but it was quite the, quite there. It was very present, quite interesting. Uh, for the sake of not being demonetized, I will not actually play any of the songs from the playlist, but there is on the bottle, and I do not know if this is going to be picked up, but there is some Spotify barcode there on the label, which is kind of interesting. This is a 7% ABV, so it's pretty stiff, and it is 70 bittering units. So I'm expecting it to be pretty dank for a fresh hop. To the nose. Yeah, tangerine. But also some nice sweetness. So it's not just um, it's not just the peel. There's definitely the tangerine peel there, but there's also some very nice citrus sweetness down below that. That smells really good. There might be a a slight um, warm malt to it. It being a an India red ale. So this is going to be an amber or a brown, um, so slightly darker malts, which is pretty uncommon for a fresh hop. I don't know why. I, I guess it depends on where in the brewing process you introduce the hops and if, because, I don't know. I don't know why. Um, typically you'll find pale ales and India pale ales and then maybe some other light colored beers, a Pilsner or something like that or, a, or a, a light lager as the vehicle for a fresh hop I fresh hop uh, beer. I, I just haven't seen any amber or brown or red. And so this, this was actually one of the main reasons why I picked this, both my prior experience with this beer, with the, uh, the India Red Ale, and then it being a red, red fresh hop beer. But let's uh, dive in. Huh. Mm. That's, there's three, there are three, maybe even four distinct uh, parts to this beer. So initially it's, uh, it's like orange peel and tangerine peel or, uh, um, I don't actually have that much experience with tangerine peel, but, um, grapefruit peel. So kind of that, that bitter citrus character to begin with. Then you get tangerine juice. So it's a very mild, very soft juice, uh, mildly sweet, not acidic at all, um, sweet. Then there's this big, big, bushy um, West Coast IPA, like juniper <laughs> mouth sweep that just comes through. <laughs> It's really interesting how how well that really mild tangerine sweetness, like it, it continues through that juniper mouth sweep. That's 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 compelling. That is compelling. 
that's a really good beer. Goodness gracious. Um, if I could change anything about it, I might make the that really smooth, mild middle a little bit more like an orange juice or a grapefruit juice rather than this just really mildly soft, like try to amp it out a little bit, but that might just get too shouty overall. And it as a very present, but just kind of there in the background, um, bridge between the, the grapefruit peel and tangerine peel opener and the ponderosa pine tree sweeping through your mouth finisher. Um, I mean, it, it, it does its job. It ties it together. Nothing clashes, nothing fights. And yeah, it's dang good. Good beer. Here's to good beer. Double Mountain seems to me to be kind of a wacky, crazy, what sort of harebrained idea can we come up with next uh, brewery. And uh, yeah, this is a good example of that. And I suppose on that note, I'm going to wrap this because I want to enjoy the rest of this beer. And I will. Um, yeah, so this is me, Matthew. I've been chewing the brew, drinking Double Mountain's Killer Red Fresh Hop India Red Ale. A unique and um, really good West Coast IRA Fresh Hop thingamajigger. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side. <laughs>